Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we are doing a talk through makeup tutorial. Oh, oh, it's actually kind of cold today finally. So I'm wearing a long sleeve. Look at that. I haven't worn a long sleeve to film in a while. Anyway, let's just get into the face. We are going to do a smoky eye today. I was inspired when I saw um, Ashley from Ladies Code, her Instagram, she had a really clear picture of her face. So I think it's easy to kind of guess what kind of colors she was using on her face. I think smoky eyes can be kind of intimidating. So that's why I've never done one on my channel really, because just putting so much dark black color on your eyes is kind of scary. So she has such a flawless face. So we're going to start with some foundation. I actually threw all of my foundations away except for the ordinary serum foundation because it was my favorite one out of all the ones that i had i mean i only had like four but yeah it was the one that i always reached for my face is not gonna be as perfect as hers but we're gonna try i'm so used to not using too much foundation so i literally did only like less than half a pump and that was not enough obviously so let's continue oh here we go oh also uh, the ordinary is having 23% off everything for the month of November not just the ordinary like the whole Decim uh, website so if you're looking to try the brand now is a good time their stuff is already so affordable but um with the 23% off it's even better I mean this foundation is only like seven dollars or so so you get an even bigger discount so next is concealer. I usually use my Glossier one because it has a very natural finish, but I'm gonna go with ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This one I think is a little too light for me right now since I still have some color from the summer, but her skin was so flawless that I'm just gonna use this because I want full coverage. This is definitely not the most ideal brush, <laughs> oh, but we're gonna roll with it. I think I'm gonna have to go in with my fingers and blend because that brush isn't getting into the detailed parts. I haven't been using my fingers to do my makeup because my nails are so long now that like, you can definitely poke your eye out doing this. <laughs> oh, I'm also wearing contacts, these gray contacts because she was wearing contacts in her picture. Moving on, let's set this face. Nothing new. Nothing new at all. Also, it's like almost 2020. And I mean, technically I'll be able to buy makeup again in January. But um, I don't know, this whole year of not buying makeup, it was really hard at first, but we are in the home stretch. We are in November. I only got two more months. Um, I can do it. I really don't even think I want to buy anything even in 2020, maybe some, Maybe, what do I need? I don't really need anything. Maybe a new foundation. My foundation's kind of old, but um, yeah, maybe a new one and I'll probably just buy like, if anything, The Ordinary again. Maybe I'll try like a drugstore foundation. I love the Maybelline one. Oh my God, how do I look? Okay, let's go to brows. Ooh, maybe I'll buy some brow products cause this is so dry. And um, I mean, in my hearts of hearts, I love using pencils, so maybe I'll buy an affordable pencil. Let's fast forward you guys through the tedious, tedious brows. Okay, let's keep the brows kind of soft since the eyes will be uh, dramatic. Going into the eyes now. Ooh, should I zoom you guys in? I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Oh. How's that? Okay, 
We are using the Morphe palette. This is the 35B. Oh no, 35W. So warm? I don't know. But there's a lot of warm colors in here. Ew. Look at that. Beautiful. There are a lot of neutrals. But what's important is there is a black, a matte black, and this silver right here. I wanted to use. So I'm going to go in with this color right here kind of like as a transition color let's put that in the crease area very messy oh ooh, look at that color okay we are going to bravely go into the next color which is a gray or silver this one is a silver because it is the only grayish color in this palette that i have but i'm going to use a very short dense shader brush because i really want to keep that color concentrated right here And the most important part of the smoky eye, the matte black. So we're just gonna use the same brush and go in. So I would suggest not just swiping, just make sure you pat first <laughs> so the color doesn't cause any fallout or the brush doesn't cause any fallout. The color doesn't have that. So let's pat first and then blend. Very intimidating to work with a color this dark. Let's just finish that for now and then move on to the other eye. Now I, what I'm going to do is just go back and forth between the eyes, adding a little bit of black just to really give it more depth slowly. So like I said, there's no fallout. You can build that color. Looking a little crazy. We'll clean that up. So for now, let's put some of that black on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that brush that we used to place the orange color or the warm brown and um, blend. I'm not gonna put any product on it yet. I'm just gonna blend. Now I'm just gonna quickly clean that uh, brush off on the back of my hand. I wanna take off some of that black that I picked up before I go back into that warm brown color. So let's pick up the warm brown again and fix this transition. transition. We are done with the eyes. I don't think she was wearing any eyeliner. I don't see any like wing or flick or anything. But what I'm going to do is add a little bit of black eyeliner to the upper waterline. All right, and while the eyes kind of sit and get a little friendly with each other, we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. She was not wearing any contour or shading as I can see, so I'm not gonna put on any bronzer. I'm just gonna go in with a really, really light pinky peach blush and this is called nude peach by 3ce this one's really light so on my skin tone um it like barely shows up because right now i'm a little like i said i have a little bit of color but um we're gonna use it anyways 
so you can barely see it on me, right? I mean, it's a pretty, 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 pretty. It's a really pretty color, but it's just a little light right now. Gonna put on a little more champs, like. Okay, and she has a really light peachy pink lip, and I'm going to be using the color Psych from Color Burp. It is the Color Burp Psych from Color Pop. It is the what is this called? The Lippy Sticks. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put this on the center of my lips and then blend it out. All right, anyways, she's not wearing any highlight from what I can see, but I need a little highlight and I love a little highlight. So let's go with one that's kind of natural, soft, soft and gentle from MAC. And of course we cannot forget the lashes. Let's finish this up, bring this whole look together. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Would you guys rock this look? It's a little much for me. Oh my god, I can't even look at myself. It's crazy. Oh my god. Thanks I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope this makes smoky eyes less intimidating because I know they're they're still a little intimidating to me, but I hope this shows that um, it doesn't take too much to recreate a smoky eye. You just gotta have a little bit of confidence and maybe the right inspiration so thank you ashley for your photo um yeah there you go thank you for watching and i hope it's i hope to see you guys next time <laughs>